photograph do you ever lie tell the truth wake us up and make us cry it all began with my parents meeting having been brought up in the entertainment industry at a very early age i first appeared alongside john houston and charlotte rampling for fox in sherlock holmes in new york Right, my darling. Irene, there's no time to explain. And under no circumstances must you leave this house or allow the lad to be seen until I give the word. I first started writing songs in 1985 when I was signed to EMI. I did a song with Mike Rutherford, Mike and the Mechanics, and then I went to Los Angeles and I did a song with Rick James. And every day I forced myself to get on the piano and I give it about 15 minutes and I have a dictaphone. I don't deliberately record the idea that I put down and I come back about half an hour later and if I remember it, then that's when I start to record. It inspires by a word or a phrase or an idea or a dream, but usually the combination of musical notes is what inspires me to create the lyric and the mood. Well, this was uh, taken in the 70s. Photograph derives and is, is inspired by the 70s and the 80s where live bands met electronic instruments. So between the 70s with the bands and the likes of Supertram, Early Days, David Bowie, Elton John, The Stones, and then moving into the 80s where it was very electronic. So it's a fusion of those two decades. Well, Luna Bell is it's about my wife. I never let her drive my new car. I had, had a sort of new car syndrome. And um, so the irony is that the song is, if you want, you can drive your seat right back with you just any time. So Lulu's about my wife. Uh, do I is, it's a good beacon of, of measure. Just because someone's pretty or you might have had a drink, is that a person that I should see again? Uh, so do I, or do I resist her? Do I kiss her or? And so it's a conundrum of past experience and for today, a good beacon of measure. Hero is about my father. The album is a, a tribute to him, as well as my family. It took a year, in fact, to actually record all the songs. COVID delayed us a bit, but the body of work, I didn't really feel that we had enough, and it took us about seven years. And thanks to John Kaufman of Rights Recording over Universal, basically gave me the, the courage and continue to write and you, you're onto something. That was the, the, the length of the period that it took. Well, I met Mal Rogers about 20, 20 years ago, developed a friendship, and I played him a couple of the tracks and said, do you want to be part of this? Only if it's good enough. And he said, good enough, send his magic. Pascal, my partner, introduced me to Thomas, David, and Julien, which are just extraordinary musicians. I'm very lucky they make me sound good. I did my daughter, Ambra, helped me produce the video and we created You and I, which was a satirical documentary on how to win an Oscar in Hollywood. And in order to win an Oscar, you have to submit it with a film attached to it. This time we can make it right. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We just want to win an Oscar. <laughs> wonderful to win an Oscar for the best song and to dedicate that to Amber's grandfather and my father, Sir Roger, and help raise proceeds for UNICEF. Uh, it was shortlisted for an Oscar, so we came very close. Side by side This time we can
seven years to make and we are very, very proud and very happy and very sad that Naya Rivera, who appeared on the song, singing with me alongside, obviously, as a duet, is not with us to be here sitting with me talking about the song and that my father is up there, both of them are up there and they're looking down on us. What gigs have you coming up? Well, start off with a showcase at the end of March and then thereafter we have a couple of uh, places lined up and once I know them, um, I would love to share them. Thank you. Across the land so blind, let's face it all, have we ever walked a straight line? Mm -hmm.